This is a quick review of the Amazon basic scale. I'm going to show that it matches basically what this ETEC CD scale says in terms of the weight of this cup, which indicates that they're either both wrong or they're both right. But I think the likelihood that two independently purchased scales are exactly wrong in the same way is pretty low. So I think the accuracy is pretty good. But the real question is, these are supposed to be kitchen scales. How good are they for measuring ingredients? When you're measuring ingredients, what you want to see is that the value here is updated very quickly so that you know when to stop. I'm going to try to get hit 50 on the head. And look at how that happened. I stopped pouring well before it was at 50 and it went up to 55. Now here I sort of anticipated and actually looked like it did a little bit better, but I think I also anticipated a bit more. Let's try to get 100. And I'm going to stop like at 95. And look, it went over. Same thing, I'll try to stop at 95, hoping to hit 100 exactly. Looks like the ETEC City is doing slightly better here, but it could just be that I'm getting better as I do this. 150 is the goal. Stop at 145. Look at, look at how much overshoot that is. Same idea here. Looks like the ETEC City is doing a bit better. But honestly, both of these have a lot of delay. It's really disappointing. These scales don't work nearly as well as a $5 digital scale I bought a decade ago. They've made them too smart. They average all their measurements over time in order to keep it so that the last digit doesn't fluctuate any. But as a result of that, they're always just showing you what the item that you're measuring weighed a second or two ago, which makes them very difficult to use for getting a precise amount of fluid or flour or whatever. Definitely, I am not happy with either of these scales.